Shalom. I'm super excited, you guys. Earlier, before I made my other video, I heard Ruach Kadesh say something. And as I'm sitting here watching, I know I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I'm sorry. But I'm watching um some YouTube videos. They're, they're Christian YouTube videos, though. So. But um, I heard him say something else. And he just keeps repeating it over and over again. And what he was saying to me was, the hidden ones are coming forth. So what he had said to me earlier was, um, so the Bible is actually, one of the functions of the Bible is to display to us the characteristics of Yahuwah. So when we see characteristics that are not similar to the ones that we see of him, that are written of about him in his word, then we know that it's the enemy and it's not him. So one of the characteristics of Yahuwah, whenever he is about to raise someone up for a great and mighty purpose, is he typically tends to hide them in a wilderness. It's not true with every single person, but for the most part, this has been very consistent. So with Moses, Moses was in the wilderness um, raising Ruel's uh, or Jethro's um, flock. You have um, Joseph that was in Potiphar's house, then prison before he went to the palace. You have Yeshua that was in uh, spent 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness being tempted of the devil. You have Paul that spent however many years in Arabia. I want to say it was 13, but I can't, I'm not really quite sure about that. But I know that he spent time in the wilderness before he was released to do his actual ministry. And what he was saying to me was, the reason why he hides them is so that the enemy cannot tamper with what he's doing in and through these people but what i heard him say oh my god and i promise you this is, earlier today i was praising and worshiping while i was at work i have been blessed to have a job where i can just put my headphones on and listen to praise and worship music and it was something that came over me at work and now it's like it's almost like he's he's telling me now why i was praising so hard i heard him say the hidden ones are about to come forth and they're not coming forth the way they're, they're not going to come the way we're used to seeing them come. Okay, these are going to be real men and women of Yahuwah that are coming and they're, they're, they're going to be about their father's business. They're not going to itch your ears. So if you're looking for people to itch your ears with things that you want to hear that feels good to your flesh, please understand you're not going to like these people. You're not going to like them at all. Not one bit. But the hidden ones are coming forth, you guys. I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> All right, Shalom Alakim.